Alrighty guys, so let's move on to color correcting for editorial images, for kind of an editorial look. And we're going to come back to this more later because there's so many different types of editorial styles. Um, but let's do just kind of some basic styles right now, and I'll just kind of show you some unique features to editorial images. So let's right click on editorial. This is our seventh topic. We're going to go 07 editorial, and then we'll left click on our arrow to bring up that filter. And first thing I want to do is actually remove this image. I, don't, I think this belongs really more in the flares and overexposures and not so much the editorial. Let's just do these these other two. So let's remove that just by clicking on the check mark with that image highlighted. And let's go to this image. Now we already did this image in our uh, in our previous color correction tutorial when we were talking about flares and overexposures. What I want to do is just kind of talk about another style of color correcting where you can kind of create a more of an editorial look. Now typically editorial looks are a little bit more of a they kind of have more flattened colors, more monochromatic, and again, there's so many different styles of editorial images, but this is just one style, and they're typically more gritty images. So what I'm going to do here is choose my adjustment brush, and I'm going to create kind of a detail enhancer, and we're going to create kind of like that, a little bit of a gritty feel. So what I'm going to do is raise my contrast a little bit, I'm going to raise up my clarity quite a bit, and also raise up my sharpness a bit. And then we're going to take this and drag it over the entire image, and then it's it's okay if we go over skin tones because we're going to fix that up. So I kind of want to just make everything pop a little bit. I'm going to bring up the clarity a little bit more, bring up maybe a little, a little more sharpness, just kind of give it a little bit of that gritty detail. And then I'm going to hold down Alt and minus it out of the skin areas. It's okay if we leave it in the hair. So I'm just going to minus it from her skin and from his skin so we don't kind of create some funky skin tones. And that's great. And then what else? Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is just kind of pump up the temperature so we get kind of a much, much more warm look. And then I'm going to pump down my vibrance quite a bit. So it kind of creates this like little monochromatic look to my image. So this is kind of an example. I'm going to reduce the vib uh, brightness just a little bit and actually add a little bit more color or contrast, sorry. And then a little bit more on the uh, recovery as well, just to kind of flatten out the highlights on our face. And uh, this is kind of an example of what an editorial image would kind of look like. Just a little more gritty, a little more monochromatic. It kind of has that kind of feel to it. So again, there are tons of different styles of that. So let's just consider this one style of editorial image. This scene is also set up with kind of editorial lighting. It's kind of more uh, dynamic lighting with hard light from the left side with a, a backlight flare coming through. So it kind of has to work with each scene too. So we're going to save this um, as a new snapshot. Let's call this... Uh, color corrected, but we'll just call it editorial color correcting. Again, we'll get to more editorial looks when we get to the kind of the advanced effects and the artistic effects and stuff like that, but for now this is kind of just a basic color correction tutorial on on that, uh, on that editorial images. Alright, so because this image is an overexposure again, we need to first work on the exposure and uh, we're going to really bring down the exposure settings while pumping the blacks to kind of bring back the contrast in the image. So let me raise up my brightness to kind of balance out the midtones, and then from here I'm just going to keep pumping my blacks until I have some contrast back in the image. And you'll see that this image is kind of set up with that kind of editorial lighting again. We're using cross lighting in this scene with a, a flash from the right, as well as a hard light coming from the left. Um, so that's what's kind of giving it that look. And then from here I'm going to, let's do a white balance check on a shirt. We're going to save two versions of images. That did not work. Let's just leave it there and just kind of adjust manually. I'm going to do two versions of this image. One is going to be just a standard color corrected, and we'll do one uh, just a color corrected editorial kind of look. I think there's a little bit too much greens in their skin, so I'm just going to reduce that. Increase the pinks a little bit to reduce the green. And that's good. I'm going to pump up my uh, recovery just to kind of smooth out the highlights on the skin tones. I think about 60 is good. I should have done this before when I was tweaking my uh, brightness. Let's see. Let me get this uh, brightness back up. There we go. Let's get a little more blacks in there. I think that's good. Let me check out my my uh, lens vignetting, editing. And I think it looks better with this image if I just kind of pull it in and darken up the edges a little bit. So I'm just going to darken up. I don't want to darken up to the point where it's covering her skin. So I'm just going to pull out the midpoint until I'm not covering any skin, basically. And I'll continue to darken it a little bit more. Just kind of create a very, very dramatic feel to the image. So I'm going to raise my vibrance as well as my clarity a little bit. I think that's good. Let's zoom in and just kind of fix up our our uh, sharpening a little bit, and then let's save that out as our first setting. That's great. All right, so this is just our color corrected setting. This is a bit on the warm side, but I kind of like it a little bit warmer, so that's fine. 
and let's do our editorial color correction now. We're going to do kind of the same thing. We're going to bring back that, uh, actually I think I already have the detail brush, all the settings dialed in, so we're just going to paint over. And that looks fine. If I want to, I'm going to subtract it out of the skin again, but I do want to have a little bit of grit in the skin. I don't want it to be completely soft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a second brush and kind of tone this one down a little bit. And then the second brush will brush over the skin as well. And you notice for a lot of like editorial images, I'll see a lot of uh, images in newspapers and, and kind of movies that are very, very gritty. And typically what they'll do is they'll kind of Photoshop enhance them a little bit. And then they'll kind of add the detail to it. Because if they don't kind of Photoshop enhance it, then it's going to bring out too much of the detail when they kind of make it more gritty uh, and to kind of enhance that sharpness and detail and clarity. So I'm going to pull down the clarity on this first brush. We're going to add a new brush. So I'm just going to hit new. And then we're going to do kind of the same settings. I'm just going to tone it down a little bit on the second one. Because this one's going to go over the entire image, including the skin. All right, so I kind of have this nice gritty effect over their skin. You can kind of see how sharp it is. Again, if we were, if this was actually going to go into a magazine or something, I would touch up the skin and then apply this, um, so it's not like too, it doesn't show too much detail. Now what I'm going to do is warm it up again, and then we're going to drop our vibrance to kind of give it that monochromatic kind of look and feel. We'll add a little bit more blacks just to pump the blacks even further, and just kind of darken the overall image just a little bit. And we can even raise the uh, recovery just a little bit to flatten it out even more. All right, I'm going to bring down my saturation just a bit too. Alright, we'll call that our second editorial image. So I'm going to save that. This is going to be color corrected editorial. Again, this is kind of just one editorial style. We'll be covering a lot more in the artistic tutorials later on. Let's move on to the next tutorial.